What's up guys, Veos here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the uh, drop sound from Cosmic by Eptic. And here's what I remade, it's close. Okay, so there you go, and then it, you, when you play it higher, it sounds like this. Okay, so I might as well show you how to make this, the little chord things too, but I'll do that at the end. Um, so here is what the sound looks like in Serum. I made it Serum, obviously. Okay, and basically this is a saw wave um, that is filtered with um, high pass and a notch, I figured, uh, from messing around a lot. There's a few more things, like it's not exact, but that's pretty much what it is. Um, but yeah, basically we're going to start off, uh, you know, initializing the patch like that. And then um, turn on the noise right here, go to analog, and then hit ARP white. So white noise is what we want here. Uh, and leave it at 0% because we'll be automating it. Alright, so then basic shapes, uh, turn oscillator A on, analog, basic shapes like that. Uh, Wavetable position at 2. Okay, so there you go. And then level at 0 uh, again because we'll be automating that. Um, there's no morphing type here, but just make the uh, voices 16 right here because it, it is more powerful if you have 16 voices uh, than yet if you have one. And detune is at zero, so you know I just really wanted to. Uh, it actually sounds different um, if you listen carefully. You know, one 16 here, um, and the random is also turned to zero percent. So there's no like phase issues or whatever because it always starts off the same. Um, and also I got a filter right here. So yeah, basically that. That's it for that patch. There's no oscillator B. Okay, no sub either. So yeah, the filter is uh, in the multis here and it's HN. So high pass and notch. All right. And uh, what I got here is uh, 80 hertz or 69. Yeah, 80 hertz. Okay, for the cutoff. Uh, resonance is 75% and then the pan didn't touch that drive didn't, didn't touch that and then the frequency is at 60% right there okay well we're automating a couple of these and the mix is also at 95% I did let a little bit of lower frequencies go by because uh, you know it's a bit ridiculous <laughs> if it's up all the way but yeah that's just uh, how I felt about it um, just press a B N N S Actually, ABN is just fine because those oscillators are on. Even that B isn't, so whatever. Um, hyper dimension right here is on. I just turned the mix to 17%. Didn't touch any of that. Uh, the size for dimension expander right beside is 17% for the um, size. And then mix is at 20%, like that. Okay, following that, I have a hard clip uh, distortion, which is the third right here. No filter before. Uh, drives at 76% okay and then the mix is at 22% all right next thing up I got a chorus so you might need to reorder these um, I think chorus is around here usually but yeah uh, chorus is on 18% for that uh, feedback is at 10 and then I think I didn't touch these actually I think it just messed with the um, you know dry wet so 18% yeah, for that. Uh, phasers on, turn the rate all the way down, and then the depth is at 32%, and then the frequency is at 143. And the mix is also at uh, 31% there. Okay, and finally, uh, here's what we got so far without any effects and stuff. Okay, that's what we got. Um, finally, the filter right here. So it's a multi-high-pass uh, filter. Uh, frequency is at 540. 54 hertz and resonance is at 72 percent okay the mix is at 53 percent you know just to have a little bit more frequency sweeping stuff going on uh but yeah that's actually it there's no compressor in serum all right now for the lfo uh just try to get the same shape try to copy it onto your serum and uh we'll be assigning this to multiple parameters here so yeah the rate is going to be one fourth okay so uh, put that on the level for white noise at 4%. Uh, put it on the level for the main oscillator A at 100%. And then the filter cutoff at 29. Okay, and then the frequency right here, um, put it on there at negative 7. Okay, uh, got a couple more things. Distortion right here, uh, put it at 36. 
and uh, the high pass finally at 19. So yeah, all those values I just said were for range, okay, for uh, the LFO. So you know, drop it on there and then I set the range. So yeah, that's the LFO movement. So it sounds like this, okay, just with no effects. It sounds uh, not as good. I find you know the effects really make it um, sound like the <laughs> original. Um, so first thing I did is um, have a noise gate because I do have two compressors after this. So it's a good idea to cut out any release. Uh, so the gain right here at negative infinite uh, release is at zero and then threshold is at negative 26, 24, I'm not sure which one because I moved it. But yeah, try to just cut the release out um, because with the compression it's just really bad. Okay, next thing, add OTT, 23% for depth, and that's all I'm um, doing here. Okay, that's uh, pretty obvious what the point of that is, to boost the highs and compress each freak, each um, band, you know, a little bit. So there you go, and then I have a Maximus, okay, so just the master is uh, up all the way. That's just to bring the loudness of the sound up a little bit, and yeah, obviously that worked. Okay, and uh, effector is on here just to get some uh, bit crusher. So any plugin you can get to make bit crusher, I have a tiny bit of that on. In fact, the uh, mix here is at 63%, just to you know reduce the amount. Um, following that, I have a high pass. Um, it's actually it's weird. I, I usually high pass a little bit more, but the um, frequency is down here. Um, they they sound like they they belong to the sound in this track but anyway yeah um, just boost the uh, bass level over here at uh, 144 Hertz a little bit and at two thousand maybe 3000 Hertz just boost that a little bit too and the high end because it's EDM and everything is boosted in the high end a little bit um, if you want a little bit of reverb too that's useful um, so I put a low cut I don't want any low frequency reverb going on so 321 Hertz for that and high cut at 15.9 High damping at 15.7, decay is at 0.2. I want a short decay, not a long, long, <laughs> you know, never ending one. And then the reverb percent is 22. I think by default it's 20, so it doesn't matter. And then the mix here is at 41. Okay, okay, now I'm actually gonna cover how I automated this sound to make it sound like uh, the original kind of. Um, so right here I have uh, two envelopes going on okay so I got the pitch um, the pitch in this case is just being automated um, two semitones okay so if I go like that okay so two semitones like that um, that's what's going on here so it goes from negative two to zero to a little bit you know around one maybe plus one here semitones and then a little bit more here and then back to zero that's just a r I did it really fast you know and I just wanted to get a kind of the same automation here okay and then for the rate right here I have this LFO rate okay so you're gonna have to go here move it real quick um, and then click tools last week create automation okay so right now it's going from uh, one quarter to one half okay and every time you see uh, there's this automation going on we're basically going either to a quarter or either back to a half so so yeah basically that that's what's going on there um, I don't know it's just I just did you know use my ears a little bit and just you know tried a bunch of things before I realized that that's probably what's going on in the track but anyways, um, yeah, we're going to go and cover the other sound right here just quickly. So these are, so yeah, that's, that's the sound. Okay, so this is just a bunch of saws. Okay, however, there is a few things going on with that. I'll turn off the effects. Okay, so as you can tell, saws. Um, so detune each um, saw. You know, you want to have three oscillators on. One a little bit detuned upwards, the other one da downwards, and then go into your voicing. Have 16 voices like that, and then just uh, do pitch cutoff like that, and detune that. So that just has a lot of voices, and it's detuned and everything. That's good. Um, now down here, you have pan position. Okay, you want to turn that on and put it in between the full inv and then in between mono. 
Okay. This, if you have headphones right now, you're gonna hear the difference. If you don't, uh, you won't. But yeah, it just adds stereo ness to your sound. And then after that, I have an LFO, okay, uh, just a sine wave LFO onto the low pass filter there, um, and just a slight resonance there. And basically, yeah, this is on the cutoff, the LFO is on the cutoff. And I'm just automating the rate right here. Um, basically, just like that. Uh, I do have a dimension expander on there just because I, I heard it in the sound too. And also, um, I have an OTT on here. Honestly, it just sounds, it really sounds like that's on the sound too. Uh, you can just tell when OTT is being used in the track. It's uh, pretty obvious. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I do offer private lessons if you're interested. Just click uh, in the description down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. So have a good night. Peace.